Hey artists, today we're making these amazing caterpillar sculptures. We're also going to add some real sticks and some model magic leaves and some butterflies. So follow along with me and I'm gonna show you how to create your own. Okay, to get started, we're gonna get a piece of cardboard and we're going to add some blue paint and some white paint to make a beautiful sky. So we're just gonna put some white paint on here and then some blue paint. Look how beautiful those look when they mix together. So we're just gonna wanna cover our whole page, our whole cardboard, with a combination of blue and white. And if you wanna show some of those beautiful clouds, you can go ahead and tap some white cloud shapes in. We're gonna wanna paint the whole thing. I'm gonna put a piece of paper behind here to make sure I don't get it on the table. So we might put a little messy mat behind us. But we wanna get this cardboard to look less like cardboard and more like a beautiful sunny day. Which it is already looking pretty amazing. Flipping this over here so I can reach the other side. I'm gonna get some more white. Beautiful. So we wanna make this beautiful sky for our caterpillar. Looking lovely. And if you wanna grab a little more white, you can make some more little clouds. Perfect. All right, we are gonna set this to the side, this beautiful sky to dry, and then we're gonna work on creating our caterpillar. Okay, to start our caterpillars, we need to get some of these twisties wires. You need to choose three pieces that are the same color, any color to be your caterpillar's body. I just grabbed the brown. So I take them and make sure I line them up so they're even and I kind of fold them in half like this. So I line them up so they're all the same and then I fold it in half. So now I've got my wire kind of folded here on my finger. We are going to tie them in a knot. So we make a loop like that in the middle. Take this end and put it through the middle of that loop. Pull it through and we are going to get a knot. Boop. Now we've got a nice knot in the wire and the rest of them are hanging down. We wanna make some antenna. So we're gonna take two of the wires coming up like this. And with our scissors, we're going to cut them shorter like this. And now that is the antenna. You can see these two pieces are sticking out and we have the four pieces back here. So we're gonna just set that down. That's gonna be the body, and we also have the little antenna. Now, we're going to grab two colors that we like. I went with orange and green, and you're gonna get your pencil. You're going to hold these two wires down. I like to just kinda of hold it in my hand with my thumb. I hold it still like that. And then you're going to wind these wires around and around and around the pencil, Whoop. going all the way around. I kind of push it down so they stay right next to each other. You can see it's already starting to look so cool with the stripes. And you're just gonna keep wrapping around and around and around your pencil, all the way around. Kind of take your time. Roll it around and push it down. This is making the body of our caterpillar. Look how pretty that's looking as I wind it around and around and around my pencil. So we're making a coil. All right. We went around and around and around and now it looks like that. So we're going to take the pencil out 
and we're gonna take our wires. Remember these, we have our little antenna and then we have the four body wires down here. We wanna straighten them out and we're gonna carefully scoot them down through the middle of our caterpillar body. Okay, make sure I get all four and pull through. I'm gonna kind of squish this down so it'll fit. So there's my caterpillar's face. There's the antenna and here is the body. So now we've got to tie a knot again. So if you remember, we make a big loop and we're going to take the wires and we have to pull them through the loop like this. Pull it through and we make a knot. to make sure that doesn't fall off. And then we're just going to kind of trim down there. And so that ends up being the back of our caterpillar. This is the face of our caterpillar and then we can kind of bend him so he looks like he's kind of crawling around. We have this super cool twisties caterpillar. You can also go back and take the end of the antenna and bend it into a little loop at the end. And so now you can see so we've got our caterpillar, the face, there's the little antenna, the body, and then kind of the tail. Okay, now that we have our dried background and we've completed our twisty caterpillar, we are going to have some branches. We're gonna use our brown oil pastel and just draw some branches kind of coming through here. So it's almost like we are using the perspective of laying underneath the tree and seeing these branches hanging down where our caterpillar's hanging out. So we'll draw some little branches kind of coming through across here using our oil pastels. Now it's like we're looking up at the sky and we've got these trees. We're gonna use some oil pastels to draw some leaves on our branches. So this is a nice spring day looking up at the clouds and seeing this caterpillar crawling along. All right, that is really making this come to life. We can use some different shades of green to add some dimension. So I'm just kind of outlining or like adding a little extra there. We'll put some little leaves here. Maybe this one has a different shape of leaf. And I'll put some leaves over here. So we're just kind of adding some greenery. Once you're satisfied with that, we get to go to the fun part. We're going to take some Model Magic Clay and just take a little chunk of it. I'd say break it in half. Save this half for later. Take this half and we can break it into a couple different pieces. Now, they are white right now, but what's really neat about Model Magic is you can take our washable markers and just add color to it. And then I just kind of fold it up. I fold it up, fold it up. And then I just kind of smush it around until that green works itself in. And we can add a little bit more to make sure we get lots of that green color. And now we're just gonna kind of mush it and roll it until that green really starts to show through and we have a nice green leaf. 
And that's gonna add some dimension to our picture because now we're going to have some 3D leaves. So this is how we can color. It's just by adding a little bit of the green to it and then just kind of mushing it in. And you can see it's already starting to turn more green. So we just add a little bit more marker to it, fold it up. All right, now I have like a nice green base. And so you can take this and make a couple of little 3D leaves to add to your branches. So how I do that is I make a round circle by rolling and then I will press it flat and kind of make the end a little pointier and now it looks like a leaf and I can draw the leaf lines on. And it's so cool, now we have these 3D leaves that we can be adding to our branches. So we roll it and kind of pinch it into that leaf shape, set it on the branches where we would like these leaves. And using your marker, you can just add some of those leaf lines. Roll it in a ball, squish it flat. Oh, these are looking awesome. And it's really giving it some of that 3D look that makes this look so cool. And is going to be a perfect place for us to put our caterpillar. So, <clears throat> you can try some different shades of green. But we're just going to keep coloring the clay and making some 3D leaves to put onto our branches. So I'm just adding that color. It's like magic, it just kind of mixes in and makes our leaf a little more green. and then I'm gonna add more leaves to my picture. Once you have all of your 3D leaves ready to go, we can also pick out some real sticks from outside and add those to our picture as well. Now, I think the best way to put these down will be with our hot glue gun. So you'll come over to me and I can help you glue these down. But we can take some of these and have our, let's see. Put our real stick with our 3D leaf right here. I can put some 3D sticks over here. It's really bringing our cool picture to life. Now with this leftover clay over here, if you wanted to, you could also add more plants or you could add a little butterfly. And so we have some of the the twisties wire that we didn't finish using so we can tape it and fold it. Just kind of turning and twisting it to make like a little body for our butterfly and take these and make some little antenna and then we can take our amazing model magic clay and we can make some wings. We can kind of just push those around into whatever shape we would like for our butterfly. Oh, that is looking very neat. And then I can give it some little wings for the bottom. That is looking amazing. 
and we can use our markers once again, whatever colors you're thinking, and decorate your 3D Model Magic Butterfly. So I'm going to put the little body here in the middle. And then I'm going to add whatever designs could look neat. Maybe some little polka dots. Maybe some stripes. And we'll really make this butterfly look amazing. And this is what's so fun about the model magic is we can really make some beautiful colored clay just with our markers. That's looking wonderful. Might add a little bit of purple. And I know they're usually symmetrical, so whatever I do on one side, I'm trying to do to the other side of my butterfly. Maybe I'll add some green to my butterfly. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, and once you're satisfied with your butterfly, you can kind of bend her how you'd like and put that. Oh yeah, I kind of brought the wings up so it looks like she's flying. And we will also add that to our picture. And we will use the hot glue to get everything stuck down. If you have some extra clay left over, you can also add a couple more leaves or maybe a second butterfly, or maybe a different bug. It's up to you. And we wanna get everything glued down to our cardboard background. Okay, I got everything glued down, and I went ahead and added with my extra clay some more leaves and a couple more butterflies. So I think it turned out pretty cool with our little sculpture of a caterpillar, our butterflies, our leaves, and our real sticks. This is a beautiful picture and I cannot wait to see the one that you create. 